President Joe Biden, in a surprise visit to Ukraine, entered an active war zone despite security risks to express America's standfast support for Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. He stood by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and paid his respects at the Wall of Remembrance, honoring those who died defending the country. Later in Warsaw, he sent a clear message to the world. Well, I just come from a visit to Kyiv, and I can report Kyiv stands strong. <laughs> Kyiv stands proud. It stands tall. And most important, it stands free. But Russia's full-scale war has taken an enormous toll on Ukraine, its infrastructure, and on the Ukrainian people. The National Democratic Institute says 37 percent of Ukrainians who took part in a study said they had lost a friend or family member since the war began a year ago. Still, Ukrainians remain hopeful about the future, says Institute Director Martin Valetsky. Against this background of terrible you know, difficulties, uh, Ukrainians remain very optimistic. Um, there is a strong level of support for the leadership and there is a hope that uh, within international support this war would be over soon. Valetsky says Russia has used this information to try to divide Ukrainians and convince them the West is not committed to their country. But Valetsky says this strategy has backfired. 92 percent of Ukrainians would like to see Ukraine being a member of the European Union. 87 percent would like Ukraine to join NATO. And this is a very solid support which we've seen over the last year. It's amazing to see how pro-European, pro-NATO Ukrainians are. I've never seen anything like this in my history. Ukrainian political analyst Mykola Davodyuk agrees. Russian invasion uh, make uh, NATO and the EU fantastically popular in Ukraine and the people understood that our unique way is uh, only into the West and uh, we, we are moving uh, that uh, direction, direction very fastly. Meanwhile, ordinary Ukrainians say they are strong and resilient after a year of war and sustained missile attacks by Russia. On the 24th, everyone just came together and demonstrated that we really are one nation and that we don't want it. With each shelling, we only become stronger. We adapt it. We survive every day. This makes us stronger and we only show the enemy that we are not afraid of anything. As a war drags on and evidence of Russian war crimes in liberated territories becomes known, research shows Ukrainians are overwhelmingly committed to victory and the liberation of all annexed and occupied territories. Miroslava Gongadze, VOA News, Kyiv.